Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to continue with the DaVinci Resolve pages. In the previous video, I talked about the media page. In this video, I'm going to talk about the edit page. As you can see, we're on the media page, and there's two ways we can get to the edit page. We can go into the media page folder here. This is what we've created in the last video. I'm double clicking it to open it. We created a timeline in the last video called media page and we're going to go ahead and double click on that and that's going to take us into the edit page. Now we could have also done it this way. I'll go back to the media page. We could have switched to the edit page. We could have gone to timelines here in the smart bins by clicking on it and then we could have double clicked on the media page to switch that way. So now let's take a look at the media page. Down in the timeline, I have a video in video one, and I also have music. Could be a soundtrack, could be narrative. In this case, I've just got music so that we have an audio track in this timeline. So now let's slide up to the top left of the edit page and click on this little button here. And what this does is this opens up more space for showing us what's in the media pool and shortens the amount of information or reduces the length of the timeline that we can see. If we click it again, it now gives us a full display of the timeline with a smaller area of the media pool. The next thing I want you to see is that if we click the media pool, we can turn that off where we can see more of the clip and not have all of the stuff in the media pool to distract us. I'm going to turn that on again. The next button over is the effects library. I'll click on that. We'll spend some time in this in another video, how to use these, what they mean, that sort of thing. We're not going to play with the edit index at this point. We're also not going to play with the sound library. I'm going to take us back to the media pool. I'm going to reduce it down again, and we're back to the original view. Now if I slide over to the right a bit, you can see, like on the media page, we can view these as a clip, and we can size the clip that we see. We can also see them in list view. Again, we have a search ability. If we have a lot of clips, a lot of timelines, we can search based on criteria we type in. We also have the ability to search on the metadata that we've entered. We can also hide or show the film strip, and we can choose to show audio waveforms. Moving right, we have the fit to window, or we can zoom in 200%, 25%, fit. Now one thing I want to show you is that with the scroll wheel of your mouse, or the top of the magic mouse, we can scroll in or out with the cursor over the top of the video. And there's times when this is just a lot faster. We have a drop down here, and if we had more than one timeline, we could choose it from this list and we could see it. We come over here, and this is where we are the time in the video. This is the total length of the clip. This is the where we are within that timeline. We have another button here, which would allow us to turn off or on the color grade in Fusion Effects. This particular window gives us the ability to either go from a single view or a dual view. In the dual view, I'm going to go ahead and add another clip so I can demo this for you. I'm going back to the media page, going down into my drone footage, and down to the beach and here and I'm going to go ahead and this time I'm going to drag this into the master like this and that clip has been moved in there. Now I'm going to go back to the edit page and you'll see that if I double click this clip it gives me the ability to play the clip, to find parts of the clip that I want, set in and out points, and be able to drag that down into the timeline. 
At this point, we're going to just stick with this single window and focus on the timeline itself. As we move further to the right, we have some more advanced features and we're not going to dive into those today. Now on the right hand side here, we have the ability to see the inspector or not. It's a toggle. And if we have audio that we want to play with, we can turn the mixer on and you'll notice at the bottom right that mixer either shows up or doesn't. I'm going to turn that off. On the far upper right, I'm going to click on this guy and again this shows us more of what's in the inspector. If I click on it again, it hides that and gives me more of the timeline. Looking at the inspector, you can see there's a lot of tools that we have to transform the video that we're seeing here in the video window. We'll talk a little bit about each of those once I get done explaining the rest of the window.